I am reading another another uh, sci-fi uh, military sci-fi um, called The Empire's Core. Okay. Right, and so the setup is essentially like this is far future, right? You know, uh, Earth has gone through, you know, Earth and in, in in the greater uh, like Earth has changed different of humanity which is spread across the stars has gone through a couple different you know so we've traversed the stars already yeah we're, like we're, we're talking we're, about two thousand years maybe three thousand years something like that like a thousand years or something okay. like that right um you know we've got technology that's more advanced right but humanity is still going to humanity and so we are we have an empire with an emperor and a senate and we've spread across the stars but what we are at is we are very much at the decline of this configuration for humanity. This empire is on the decline, right? We had just had a tyrant emperor that got assassinated. So we had, we already had a revolution for this yes. empire. And, and so, and then a child, the child emperor got put in charge. And of course he's just a puppet more or less for the Senate. And the Senate is all like money, 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 power, power, power. And because they're doing this, it's causing everything to slowly fail around them. And we come in here and we start following this captain for a Marine division, right? And these Marines really dig back all the way to their roots, back to United States Marines. Like they, they acknowledge that, but these are the, so they have the history connection that right. really drives them. Yeah. And, but they're the empire's Marines and they are not sworn to, they are sworn directly to the emperor. Right. So the kid now, right? We're sworn to the kid, and and their their goal is to, you know, they're not controlled by the Senate, so obviously the Senate doesn't like them and stuff like that. And this captain speaks truth to power, right? He was like, "It is not me and my people who fucked this situation up. It is y'all who fucked us. Y'all being the emperor, or y'all being the the Senate, the council." Okay. Um, and so they go, they, they're like calling for his head and the commandant of the Marine Corps calls him up and goes, so, you know, you fucked up. Right. And he's like, yeah. And he goes, well, here's the thing. The empire's about to probably collapse here pretty soon. I need to get you, you out of the, the solar system, out of the soul system. And so I'm going to send you to a friend's world where they need some help. Fucking pull, you know, take your, your company, which is. His detachment of Marines are... About 80 Marines. So, ooh, that's more than a detachment now. Yeah. About 80 Marines. Um, gather all the supplies that you want. Of course, they have auxiliaries who, who are their support yeah. element who used to be Marines and got injured or what, what they're have your, you. They're your extras, your yeah. reserve, your medical, your... Um, and they go off to this world, and this is where we start out with them going to this world and saving this world from falling into... You know, a civil war, um, full on chaos, and, and you're really seeing like how the empire is on the decline, and that's the first book. And then there are 22 books out right now, bro. I just I just downloaded the next book of Shadow and Sea, and it, you know, obviously it's touching on like at some point. I, I think it goes through four books with this company probably but to, you're invested some, something and then i think it jumps over to you'll you'll go somewhere else in the empire and start following someone else and still it'll, following it'll, the same i'm sure there'll be some connection yeah, it'll all tie together right but, but you're invested in this book series how many books are you in i the, i had originally read the first four books and then i jumped off to something else and i was like i need to get back to this series and i i had read it years ago and i was like i need to get back to the series and get back to digging into it again so i started again from book 1 okay um uh, and i was like oh man it's just so good you know and you can see a lot of parallels between like our nation and, and what's the going on in the like book. one of the things that they say is they're like you know there's a lot of issues when there's a lot of um intelligence agencies being stood up you know it's like uh, uh, uh. oh yeah we've had a couple of those the past couple of years agencies beefed up and so that is the empire's core um by who oh thank you uh <laughs> bring up the book details um by 
Christopher G. Natel. Natal? So, 22 books. The Empire's Core by Christopher G. Natal. Natal, right? Yep. Okay. So, how many books are you into this one? So, originally... I know you read four. So, I'm on the second book right now. Okay, because you're re... Recollecting all the information. I started, I think, Wednesday. Okay. And then today I didn't read, obviously, because I was busy. But you know, yesterday I did. Um, and and yeah, I'm just refreshing myself on the okay. first four books, and then I'm gonna continue on. 